All right, we have another haul video. We have another comic book haul video. I didn't think I would have another one ready so soon after the last one, but here we are. Okay, last night, so tonight is, to, today is Wednesday. And uh, last night, Tuesday, we had um, Tales from the Flip Side Tuesday, where uh, me and Dino, we talk about comics. So uh, go ahead, check that out on Tales from the Flip Side channel. And also, if you're a wrestling fan, we did a WrestleMania 40 review on uh, Tales from the Flip Side as well. So uh, if you're interested, go check it out. Also, also uh, on Sunday, we did... I. Um, it was me, uh, Red Hood Comic, and Mr. Long Short. We talked about more comics on Hot Book Alert Live. And if you're in the know, it's Hot Book Alert. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into this comic book haul. What are we starting with? We're starting with uh, some books that I picked up at a toy show uh, a little while ago. And these books here, I'll tell you what I paid for them afterwards. Okay, so we're starting with Spider-Man 2099. I believe this is from, uh, what is this, 20, oh shoot, I don't want to have to. See, I meant not to pull this thing out. To, let's see what year this is. Uh, so this is 2014. So this is 2014. Spider-Man 2099, number three. This is a one in 25 variant. This is a John Tyler Christopher cover. Not quite sure what this book goes for, but I figured, eh, let's go ahead and pick it up. It's, it's in probably near mint minus condition. There are a couple imperfections, I would say like around here and around there. Uh, as many of you know, I am a comic book white supremacist. I love my comic book covers nice and white, but I am also very much a black activist. Is this book black activist worthy? Let's take a look. I know the glare monster is a little strong. Okay, so yeah, you see like that that there. Now, this looks like a thumb crease up here. Color breaking crease. So, I, I mean, it's not 9-8 black activist worthy, but I think Figured it would be worth picking up. You know what I'm saying? All right, what's next? And uh, so that's a 1 in 25 variant. And here's a retail incentive variant uh, from IDW. So this is Wraith number one. I believe this came out in... Oh, you know what? Let me look it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look it up. W-R-A-I-T-H-1. Hold on, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Okay, so this came out in 20... Oh, wow. So this is... So this came out in 2013. So this is an 11-year-old book, okay? And this is a 1 in 10 variant. Uh, let's see who did the art. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm not seeing... Cover by, cover by Gabriel Rodriguez. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So it obviously looks like a horror comic. Now, I, I, I don't know anything about this title, but since it's a variant and it's a horror title, I figured at some point this thing is going to be adapted to like a tv show or a movie so let me have this thing ready and on top of that it's a it's an incentive variant so all right fine all right fine i bought it all right ooh, now here's a book i'm very excited about i wow this is a great cover terrific cover check this out take a look at this so we've got back issue magazine number 23 back issue magazine Ooh, let me take that off yoink let me take that price sticker off so back issue magazine number 23 this is an adam hughes cover i but yes this is from 2007 so this cover is from 2007 
And uh, I don't even think we're at the peak of Adam Hughes' powers so far here in 2007. But this cover is looking great. Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Um, uh, referencing the infamous, or actually the famous, probably one of the most famous comic book panels of all time. Uh, from Amazing Spider-Man number... Eight. 42, I believe. Yes. But uh, nevertheless, I found this thing. This this book is tough to find. Out in person, online, doesn't matter. Uh, this thing is super beautiful, in great shape. I kind of want to open this thing up, but I don't know. I, maybe I just don't. Maybe I just don't want to handle it all like that. But yeah, good looking. Good looking magazine. So yeah, you see the date there, 2007. So yeah, man. This thing is gorgeous. Look at that, beautiful. And not too much I wanted to say about it. I, I've seen copies sell for roughly a hundred bucks and you saw the price tag here, but I didn't even pay that, so. We'll get to it, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. But yeah, man, Back Issue Magazine, number 23 from 2007. 2007, what? Okay, so 2007 is what? 14 years ago? Seven. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Holy crap. So that's... 17 years ago. Holy cow. What did I say before? 14? <laughs> uh, that'd be 2010. <laughs> so set, this book is 17 years old at this point. Wow. And, the, and this cover looks extremely timeless. This this art here, this Adam Hughes art, art looks like it could have come out yesterday. You know what I mean? This thing is so beautiful. And this is from, what, 17 years ago. Wow. But, uh, yeah, I, I can say a lot more about it, but we got to keep it moving. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Here's something I thought was cool. So we've got God of War uh, trade paperback. Um, I, I don't know what this thing goes for, if it goes for anything, but... You know, why not? I sold like th so. This is from the uh Wild Storm, and then uh, Wild Storm kind of got engulfed by DC. So, um, DC kind of DC it started off as a Wild Storm title, and then um, then it became a DC title. So, you know, then it, it well, Wild Storm DC, and then it became an outright dc title but anyway uh i i really don't know what this goes for but i, I figured eh, i think it's worth having and i i don't think i've ever seen this trade paperback before so god of war trade paperback from dc wildstorm now here's a variant i don't know anything about but i figured i would pick it up so this is transformers infiltration uh, unfortunately, you got the humans kind of taking up the focal point, but you got the robots in the back. At least there's robots in the background, at least, in, the, in what, the reflection here? So, eh. And what is this? What is this? So this is the uh, Transformers Infiltra Infiltrate. This is a 1 in 25 variant? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. It's a foil. I think the only difference between this and the regular cover is that this is just foil. That's all. Nothing nothing special about it. I don't want to say too much about it. And here's another trade paperback. Jingle Bells number... Uh, well, actually, no. This is a trade paperback. Jingle Bells Cool Yule from Oni Press. Uh, what year did this come out? Does it say a year? I don't think so. But uh, I don't feel... Uh, it's really not worth digging into all like that. But uh, this is a Paul Dini book. So this is from Paul Dini. 
the uh, the brains behind uh, Batman the Animated Series and uh, Harley Quinn. So I figured, why not? These two are looking a lot like uh, Harley and Ivy there, are they not? Are they not? Uh, Jingle Bell's Cool Yule Trade Paperback. Uh, here's a good-looking uh, Metal Gear Solid cover. So this is Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty uh, number number eight. Okay, all right, all right. Nothing more that I wanted to say about it. It's just, you know, decent cover. And, and I don't think it goes for anything. X-Men number 20 variant. I believe this is a Dale Keown cover. And for it being a Dale Keown cover, you'd think it would go for more, but it doesn't. This book doesn't go for anything. But I figure it was there. Let me pick it up. Uh, another variant, we have Iron Man Legacy number one. This is a book that, this is another book that doesn't go for anything, but it's a variant, so I'm just like, all right. Actually, you know what? I should have done, I should have done Iron Man Legacy and then did X-Men 20. And then that would have been a good segue <laughs> into this. It could have been a great segue into this. So we've got a book that I have been after forever. Do you hear me? Forever, ever. Uh, X-Men number 19. So this is a 1 in 50. I believe this is a anniversary variant. And, and you see that it's... An homage to Fantastic Four number one from 1961. And um, what did I want to say about this uh, outside of, like I said, this thing, this book has been on my want list forever. I've got a very deep want list and this thing was damn near at the bottom of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this was one of the, meaning this was one of the first books that I've had on my want list. And this thing is really beautiful. Look at this. Oh, look at this. And I've been, okay, so ever since I've been doing Hot Book Alert Live, uh, the live stream on Sunday nights, um, I do, uh, like really, you know, just interesting high seals for comics this book has always come up, even though I never featured it. Uh, this book, I always see this book sell. Um, you know, I, I believe like maybe a couple months ago, it was going for like a hundred plus, and then it would be like maybe 150. But this week, I saw a sale for X Men number 19, this one in 50 variant for oh man i want to say like 289 yeah this book has become really hot and i saw another sale a few days later for 200 buy it so the both of them were buy it nows so yeah man yeah i'm so happy to have found this book like super happy and especially for what I paid. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Oh, let's see. So we got... So I'll tell you what I paid for everything here. So we got this uh, Spidey 2099 variant. We got X-Men 19. We've got Back Issue Magazine. We got Wraith. We got uh, these here. God of War. Transformers. Actually, I picked up a few m other books uh, from this particular seller at this show, but uh, I don't think they're really worth uh, showing. But I got all this, including. Look at this, man! I got. I think I got the deal of the century here. But uh, so I get. We got all this, including this X Men nineteen variant. So we got all that. For 50 bucks. I got all this for $50, man. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that, man. Yikes. Look at this. I've been after this. I've been after this variant for so long. I am so happy to have it. This thing, this thing is staying in the collection. Um, if I can, 
If I can get a 9.8 on this, probably have it graded and just keep it in the collection, man. This is such this is such a trophy for me. I love this. I love this cover so much. I always thought that I would, you know, go just go to a show. I mean, not go to a store and just find it like saying the back issue bin or something like that, but no such luck. But I did <laughs> find it in a bunch of other books for $50. So, yeah, man very happy so thank you so much uh he he watches the channel on occasion so uh if you're watching thank you and uh we'll definitely uh see you soon all right so i went comic book digging the other day and i, I found some two dollar books so we found some two dollar books and uh we're starting with madman atomic comics number 16 i love this book and this book has been really tough to find so there's the issue before it number 15 that is a david bowie homage um i i believe you know what i don't even want to say the title of the album but it's a david bowie homage and this one of course is the beatles homage i'll tell you what let's open this thing up really quick just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here we got the abbey road abbey road thing going on so um not this book here madman atomic comics number 16 isn't necessarily an expensive book compared to number 15 but this thing to me was so much harder to find if you if you understand what i'm saying so and that and the and it gets weirder as we uh get to the back cover but yeah good looking cover uh, i'm glad to have another copy of this and uh and i and like if you want to make a set of like madman uh from mike allred you know this book and that number 15 uh, david bowie cover uh, makes a really nice pairing okay What's next? Now, here's a book that I, this doesn't go for anything. Doesn't go for anything, but it is a great cover, uh, nevertheless. So we got Madman, or Jesus, <laughs> not Madman, but we have Warlock 5, number 5 from Air Cell. Air Cell? Hmm. Okay, Air Cell Comics. Okay, but uh, we didn't just buy one. We bought... Not one, not two, but three. We got three copies uh, at $2 a piece. Again, this book doesn't go for anything, but damn it, the cover is fire. And this book is from 1986, okay? So I think that, like, this, like, this type of art from... Okay, so this type of art being 1986 is pretty damn impressive. Uh, this looks like what airbrush so yeah man this is a gorgeous cover i'm not quite sure what's uh what this what this cover is about but <laughs> i bought it anyway and so I, i'm at the point now where i'm just you know appreciating good art and good covers not necessarily trying to spec on anything you know what i mean not or I don't, I'm, let me take that back. Not spec on anything, but just, you know, just focus on cool shit more so. More so than spec. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Warlock 5, number 5 from 1986. Beautiful cover. Beautiful um, uh, Copper Rage cover. All right. Look, this, this cover looks ahead of its time, to be honest with you. All right, what's next? What's next? Let's do this. Let's do this. So we've got Gun Candy number one from, I believe this is from 2003. So, and so from Brian Stelfreeze. This is a Brian Stelfreeze cover. And uh, nothing more that I wanted, not too much that I wanted to say about this outside of it's a negative space cover. Um, it, it beat John Tyler Christopher by what, 20 years or something like that. <laughs> and, um, or 10 years or whatever. But, uh, yeah, just a, you know, interesting cover. And so we found that for two bucks. 
and we found this as well. Gun candy number two, but gun candy number two is also a flip book for ride number two. And this is a Phil Noto cover. <laughs> the one girl is uh, flashing her tits for Mardi Gras. Okay, all right, I'm not mad at that. But yeah, so this is a flip book. Gun Candy number two and Ride number two. Okay, Phil Noto cover. All right. Not quite sure why they would do that as opposed to just, uh, you know, <laughs> making it two separate books, but we get two for the price of one. I'm not mad at that. All right, so here's another interesting $2 book. Gun Candy, or rather, Jesus. <laughs> Coco Gun Bun number one from 2006. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever you say. Um, I'm not quite sure if this book goes for anything, but I saw it for two bucks. Saw it for two dollars, and I figured, why not? Uh, so what is this? This is an 18 year old book now. Wow, man, time is flying, man. The early 2000s is starting to look like. Uh, starting to look like ancient history at this point anymore. So, yeah. All right. It's all good. Uh, here's a book that I found. It's a, what is this? Um, a Silver Age book? Uh, yeah, well, I'll show you. So this is Spellbound number 24. I'll tell you what. Let me look this book up really quick. Let me see what year this is. Spellbound 24. Hold on. Hold on. Spellbound number 24. And this is from 1955. So this is our early uh, Silver Age book. So we're right. So we're just coming out of the Golden Age. And uh, I don't know. I, I saw it for 50. And I got them down to 40. I figured, eh, 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 eh. Uh, you know, nothing, this book ain't too fancy, or it, it's not like a key issue or anything like that, but it just looked interesting enough. I think it was probably like the only interesting thing that I saw at the store. You know what I mean? So I figured, eh, I guess I'd buy it for 40 bucks. There was a copy not too dissimilar to this copy here that sold for $70. So this is a VG copy, and the one that sold on eBay was a VG copy as well. So, uh, Spellbound number 24. What are we doing next? What are we doing next? Okay, so these next crop of books here are all, uh, they're all dollar books, okay? All right, so we're starting with, let's start with this book here. This is a book I never thought I would find again in the dollar bins, but here we are. I'm very happy to have found another copy here. So we've got Batman and Robin Adventures, number 21, beautiful Bruce... T uh, is this a Bruce Timm? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hope, Ty Templeton. This is a Ty Templeton cover, but you know what? Hold on, let me look this up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought it was Bruce Tim, but T E L B I N Ed B E N T U R E S number twenty one. Uh, come on. Okay, written by Ty Templeton. Uh, art by Joe Stratton and Terry Beatty. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, we're, we're getting down to the bottom of it, okay, so yeah, it's a Ty Templeton cover, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, it's still, um, it's still, it's still a hot book, this book got hot, gosh, man, I want to say like seven or eight years ago. And then it had, and I don't think it really has slowed down. There was a, 
a nice raw near mint copy that sold for gosh i want to say like 40 bucks which is still pretty damn respectable you know for a book from 1997 from gosh what is that 20 ugh, 26 years ago or something like that? no 20 27 oh crap you know what hold on hold on hold on what's uh 97 minus 2024 so ah you know what i'm not doing the math in my head right now but uh oh so no it's 27 years ago yeah 27 years ago jeez man <laughs> but uh yeah still still a beautiful timeless looking batgirl cover all right we're moving on we're moving on uh, found this in the dollar bins as well uh terminator 2029 this is a this is one of those dark horse uh 100 variants where they limited the variants to like a thousand i believe much like the uh clone wars number one uh this is this is a variant along those lines where they uh limited the variants but uh this book really doesn't go for anything but i figured and eh, let me go ahead and pick it up all right what's next i found this for a dollar uh, uh what is this showcase 96 number three and this is the um, um first appearance of lois lane i'm oh, jesus <laughs> yeah, i'm reading this no it's the first uh, first technical appearance of birds of prey this book was a super hot uh for for a time I, I can't say it is anymore but uh still happy to find you for a book uh venom four from i believe this is from 2022 uh this is a variant i i you know this is a book that i never bought and i kind of wish i had at the time but i'm glad i was able to double back and find a copy for a dollar found three cop and now now we're getting into the stuff that i didn't feel like bagging and boarding found three copies of darth maul number three second print first cover appearance of cad bane um this uh, this is another book that was really hot and then the mandalorian kind of crapped the bed <laughs> no it wasn't the mandalorian it was book of boba fett it was book of boba fett where cad bane was introduced and then, like, he dies, like, the episode later or something like that. Supposedly, supposedly. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything by way, like, by way of Disney, Star Wars. I don't know. Everything is just so up in the air because these projects have all just kind of fallen flat. But, still, good book to find for a buck. You know what I'm saying? And three a piece. Yeah, you know, found three for a dollar piece. Okay, what's next? What's next? Found two copies of Zero Number One. Does anybody remember the spec on this book? I think Fifty Cent was gonna make like a movie or something, something dumb out of it. You know what I mean? And then like prices for this went through the roof. Uh, what's next? We got Icon Number Forty Two. I believe this is the second to last issue. Uh, this book might go for something. I forget. Since it is such a later issue in this run, um, uh, we're such a late issue in the run that it could go for something, but I, I just didn't get a chance to look up prices. Uh, here's a cool cover. Icon number 31, uh, referencing Batman number one. And we got some more black superhero action going. <laughs> Night Stalkers number 50. You know what? I need to bag and board this one. Because this book is was super duper hard to find um, for, I want to say, like a couple years ago. Uh, this book was really hard to find. So Night Stalkers 15. This is a Blade cover. And uh, what is this? Legion of Monsters number four legion of monsters number geez my brain is shorting excuse me legion of monsters number one of a four issue miniseries you know what i want to look up what this night stalkers 15 is going for hold on 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 
Night Stalkers 15, N I G H T S T A L K E R S, number 15. What is this book going for? It is not going for a damn thing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But I'm glad to have found it still. Uh, Legion of Monsters, number one. Marvel Comics Presents, number 172. This is uh, another one of those books that. Is this the first, appe first appearance of Lunatic? Okay, this looks like a Joe Casada cover. If I'm. Um, is it? It looks like it, but let's see. Uh, GIF. Oh, Giffen. Is this a Giffen cover? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Marvel Comics Presents number 172, first appearance of Lunatic. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see if this. Did I mess up? Hold on. Let me get this thing. Because I wanted. I, I, I popped up in order to go look up see to to see if this thing was worth anything. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Marvel Comics presents 172. 172. Does this go for anything? Let's see. Uh not really. Probably like 10 bucks on a good day. Yeah, probably like Shit, probably not even 10 bucks on a good day, but I uh, found it for a buck. Why not? Uh, Deathstroke, number 58. Does anybody remember when this book was hot? Does anybody remember? Uh, Joker cover uh, referencing Deathstroke, number one. Uh, does anybody remember? Uh, Deathstroke, or rather, geez, man. So Deathstroke, number 58. Uh, Black Panther number 22. Does anybody remember when this book was hot? Um, beautiful Moon Knight cover. Uh, this was back when there was a lot of spec on Moon Knight. There was a lot of spec on Black Panther and a lot of spec on Moon Knight. All of that has pretty much fizzled out. But uh, I don't know. Happy to find it for a buck. Happy to find this for a dollar. Teen Titans Go at number 15. Cool Robin cover. Lobo. Lobo, Big Babe, Spring Bait, Spring Break Special uh, from 1995, and last but not least, Green Lantern number 40. I remember when this book was hot. I want to say like around 20, 2020, I believe that's when this book was hot. So that's my haul. We're about, damn, well over a half hour here. So uh, we're going to leave it there and uh, see you guys for long story short on thursday and we're gonna come back to this channel the mercenary channel my channel <laughs> for hot book alert live uh number nine so we're uh, we're chugging along on hot book alert live so i thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time all right bye